All right, what's up guys? I'm sitting in my house. Uh, I've been sick for the last couple of days, but I did a video every night after the sheepdog response class. Uh, just a raw, like, reaction um, explanation. I don't even know what to call it, video. And I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna edit it. Um, there's probably like 45 minutes or more of raw footage I did. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna edit it. I actually have a pen and paper out. Um, I just think there's gonna be stuff that I missed or didn't expound on good enough or feel the need to, you know, go back and explain better now that it's been almost a week. Um, so yeah, this, this next video, I'm gonna put this on the front of the video, but this, this video that you're getting ready to watch is gonna be all raw. Uh, reaction stuff and then I think I'm gonna work on kind of a more refined review of the whole course overall and like I said I'm gonna actually take notes which is something I don't normally do um, but anyways we're gonna yeah gonna go ahead kick this off like I said everything from this point on is gonna be super raw and just uh, recorded right after the fact so who knows what's coming out honestly I don't remember half of what I said because it was just so much to take in and my brain was just I mean dumping info so hope you guys enjoy it like subscribe uh, comment if you want to see more of a reviewed week later you know kind of an official review and uh, touch back on that day one um, well, I'm gonna hit a couple things real quick. One, I did a video of everything I packed and was planning on packing. Um, I did add my workout clothes. I don't remember if I mentioned that. Um, and then I had originally planned to take my truck, and I know the lighting's kinda weird in here. Sorry, maybe I should lean forward a little better. Um, I'd originally planned on bringing my truck, and then we ended up bringing the wife's truck. Um, because at first I thought we were going to take two separate trucks because me and the wife, or the wife and the kids stayed at her parents' house. They live kind of close to where the class is. Anyways, point being, um, I packed a notepad, a pen, and some water bottles in my truck, planning on taking my truck. Um, didn't swap them over. So I don't have a water bottle, no biggie. I'll just go buy you know, bottles of vitamin water or whatever at the grocery store, gas station, whatever. Not too worried there. Uh, the notepad and pen thing would have been nice to have um, today. Just a, a small little itty bitty notepad was all I was going to bring. I wasn't going to bring a big notebook. Just because there's a couple things that um, probably would have been nice to write down. Now, this class was kind of uh, introductions, um, Kind of go over what we're going to do with the class and then it was situational situational awareness um i feel like i'm okay at that right personal like opinion of myself um the next two days are the days especially the the jujitsu the fighting hand not or hand to hand combat stuff that's where i'm going to get just destroyed um but it was still, it was a good class. It was good to learn. It was good to get kind of a gauge of some of the other people in the class for, you know, the instructor side of things. They asked some questions that, you know, um, I think I think it's really just to fill each other out, right? Fill out the instructors, kind of understand that they're there to teach you and they know what they're talking about. And then they get a chance to kind of fill us out. Um, I feel like I answered a couple things that got me like a, small little okay you kind of do okay at this um which made me feel good because like i said i thought personally i feel like i'm pretty decent at situational awareness um and like i said there there's just a couple well so at the end we're talking about we're going to meet at the range tomorrow here's where we're going blah 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 and he goes uh and i you know look for my vehicle i should beat all of you there and he looks at the end the other instructor and he goes what vehicle are we in and I swear I wasn't trying to show off, nothing like that. I just, I had watched him pulled in. I watched, you know, looked at the vehicle. Um, just because I watched everyone pull in and kind of looked to see who was coming in and what was going on. Because I just do that. And I just said, oh, you're in the Silver Forerunner, right? And he was like, yes, way to go. Like, that's what we're looking for, right? 
Um, so like I said, not trying to brag, not trying to pat myself on the back, but it did make me feel good that, you know, my personal opinion myself maybe is kind of accurate, but like I said, the next two days I'm going to get my ass kicked. Um, I know these videos are going to suck in here. Um, I, I don't know. I guess I could do them somewhere else. Um, we got out of the class. Everybody kind of parted ways. A couple people went to go get dinner together. Um, yeah, everyone just kind of scattered. Um, I'm really excited for the next two days. I will say, so it originally said meet at the range. And then they sent out an email saying, hey, don't meet at the range. Go to the gym on the first night. And then they sent out a second email and was like, hey, don't go to the range. Go to the gym. One guy didn't get that. He ended up at the range. Another guy um, was talking about the packing list. And a, a guy was like, dude, I didn't get a packing list. I don't know what you're talking about. Apparently, they sent out an email when you signed up. I didn't get that either. Um, I just went off the packing list on the website where you pay for the class. So, um, yeah, the one kid, he's local. He was like, I'll go home, scrounge up everything I can based off the list. I had no clue. And then um, I wasn't on the list. <laughs> So I signed up seven days ago, right? Tonight was the first course. I signed up seven days ago. Um, a couple of people overheard me mention that when I wasn't on the list. I'm like, look, I signed up Friday. And a couple of people were like, what? Really? You signed up that late? And I'm like, yeah, I did get a uh, badass shirt. So pretty stoked about that. And yeah, I don't know. Um, not a lot to say on this one just because it's not a long class, right? It was, so, okay, one other thing I'll throw out. It was supposed to be a 20-minute drive for me. I was planning to be there an hour early, right? I got there 15 minutes early. There was a huge wreck. There was horrible traffic, and everyone ran into that, including the instructors who were finishing a course at the gun range, which is 45 minutes away, and then had planned to make it back to start this. Well, they got there a little late. Um, didn't really cause any problems, but I... I'm sure there was a little bit of rushing involved, but I don't feel like we skipped over anything. Um, he's like, there were some like slideshow videos and he's like, I can explain better than this video, right? Or than this slideshow video. So anyways, the <laughs> quality of this is getting worse and worse because it's getting darker and darker and I'm in a truck. So I'm going to shut it off. Sorry. I'll try to do better videos on the next one. I promise. All right, end of day two, sheepdog response. Uh, sitting at my mother-in-law, father-in-law's house. Um, thought about doing a video at the range, and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna drive. Kind of give me some time to just decompress, think about stuff, um, which didn't work, because it was kind of sort of rush hour in the city, and I hate the city, and I hate traffic, and I hate people, so the decompression thing didn't work. Um, so first things first, I heard, my neck hurts. Uh, the The morning was five hours of combatives, right? It, I mean, it was jujitsu, but it's not sport jujitsu, right? They they keep hammering on that. Look, this is survival stuff, right? We're not going to teach you the stuff to score points. We're going to teach you like ways to hurt someone and get away. So um, I've never done that. I've never done anything close to that um, at all, right? Like, gotten some scraps in high school, and that was a long time ago. Like, eight, 15 years? I don't know. Anyways, it's been a long time. So, I knew that it was going to be hard. I knew that. Um, but I was, I mean, fish out of water, right? Like, struggling hard. I did watch a bunch of YouTube videos over the last seven days from Sheepdog Response. They have videos on their YouTube. You know, stuff like that really helps, right? Like, plan ahead. Try to think ahead. Think of things you can do to, like, prep. Like, yeah, I could have gone to a jujitsu gym, and there was a couple people in there that said, yeah, I've been to two, three classes since I signed up for this. Um, at seven days' notice from the time I signed up till the class started, and... Maybe could have snuck one in, right? But I'd heard lots of mixed feelings about the gym near me. Um, and so I was just like, you know what? I'm already, like, 
running wild trying to get stuff ready. My wife had just had surgery. Um, yeah, so I just was like, no, I'm just going to show up. I'm going to learn what they teach me. You are drinking through a fire hose. They are just pouring stuff down your throat, right? Um, and I struggled hard. I still have no clue what I'm doing there. Um, it's just, I'm, I'm not flexible. I'm not used to it, which is a big part. And like, we're in a class training, right? And all I can think as we're training is why, like, why would I do this? Right. And I understand why you're supposed to do this, but in my head, I'm thinking like, why don't I just like, instead of trying to, you know, like you're, you're trying to get under hooks and, and I'm like, why wouldn't I just push as hard as I can and go for my pistol? Right. Like now I understand there's times to do that. There's times where you don't have that option, right? Someone grabs you without you knowing they're going to, or there's times where you don't have a pistol. I am not allowed to carry a pistol at work. That is one reason I was extremely interested in this class. I cannot have a firearm with me. I work on a federal reservation. Um, I get caught with a firearm. I'm not, I'm not just fired. I'm, it's a federal offense, right? So, but it was hard for me. Like, I just, all I wanted to do was put out all my power into just like, clear this dude, lay him down, right? I, like, you know, I get kind of like tangled up and I will say I found a guy who had lots of jujitsu. Well, shouldn't say a lot, but he had jujitsu experience. He, I think he said like three, four years and he was a huge help. So I got with this other guy and you're supposed to switch partners up. And I kind of like me and him kind of just took off to the corner and the coach came over the one time and he saw like that guy was helping me a ton because he kind of was like, Hey, you know, like, are you guys doing okay? And I'm like, dude, I don't know anything, right? This guy knows quite a bit. I don't know a goddamn thing. He's helping me. Are you good with that? And he kind of was just like, sure. Right? Like, don't just stay in your corner. But if that's what you're going to do right now to kind of learn and it's helping you. Right? Um, so that was really nice. But even then, like, even with him, you know, he'd be like, what, what, what should you do in this situation? And I'm like, bro, I don't know. All I want to do is like try and push you as far away as I can and go for a gun. Like that's all I want to do. So that shows where my um, deficiency is hugely. Five hours, pouring sweat, working my ass off. It was, I mean, it was, it was a blast, but man, was it a lot of work. And I'm sore. I'm not super, like some of the people were talking, they were crazy sore. Uh, my knees are super sore because my gym shorts are super short. Turns out those aren't great things to wear on those mats, especially when you're sweaty. You kind of stick to them. And then my neck hurts. Um, there's a lot of like neck pushing and controlling and I have a stiff neck anyways. Um, every time I go get a massage, they like, they spend a bunch of time on my neck. They said I carry most of my stress and that's where most of my tension is. So to go in and then just have people like crank on my neck, uh, wasn't, wasn't great. Um, <laughs> and then I tried to flip a guy, tried to roll a guy and I landed on my neck and I had to be like, bro, stop, stop. And he's like, oh, sorry. What did I do? And I'm like, you didn't do anything. He's like, you okay? And I'm like, no. And I like, couldn't see, well, seeing stars, like vision in and out. And he's like, dude, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know what I did. And I'm like, you didn't do anything. I said, when I tried to flip you, well, I, I, I mean, I did, I, I rolled him, but I'm like, when I did, I like, I didn't roll onto my shoulder first. I rolled onto my neck first and it kind of like popped funky and, uh, it hurt. <laughs> and, you know, at that point, like he had been pushing me down. He'd been trying to like pin me uh, what's it called? Shoulder. They kept calling it shoulder of justice. They're pushing their shoulder into the side of your face, pinning your face to control you. And I got out of that and then flipped and landed on the opposite side. So like everything went from really tight one way to like pop the other way. Anyways. So then we went, sorry, my, 
brother-in-law just pulled up. He's wearing Crocs. And he just looks silly. And he's got an impact gun sitting on the, uh... You have an impact gun? He's got an impact gun sitting on the back of his truck and he drove here. Sorry. Anyways. <laughs> he just kept walking too. So situational awareness right we talked about in the first video anyways uh moving on so we head to the gun range okay again this was like the first night right situational awareness i felt like i know enough here that like i'm not expecting it to be a life-changing class right but i'm hoping to pick up tips right and i did there was a couple things they helped with um and i did perform good right i feel like um actually i felt like i performed performed great other than i have put on a new red dot onto my gun so um i would i was thinking about pulling it up and showing but i didn't it's not cleared uh it's currently loaded because i was driving around so um i thought i had it zeroed at like 10 yards right and i figured up close we started at like i mean you're like four feet I don't know I don't even remember what they called it but I mean you're close right closer than I ever shoot ever practice um because I just I've been around guns forever and I, no one ever had me shoot that close and so I've never really gone in that close to start shooting anyways point being um so I pull up and I shoot and my first two shots are low like so you're shooting at a bullseye right but I'm at like four feet I'm expecting just murder this thing and I'm in the like eight ring so kind of in the seven ring and i'm like what the hell mm -hmm. so i take another one and I, I hold a little higher and i hit a little higher and i'm like i'm not zeroed for this close so you've got three bullseyes and a bunch of little things on the sides that you can shoot at right but they're having to shoot at the bullseye so i just start working my way up until i start hitting the bullseye and i just continue holding there and i blow out the bullseye pretty decent so we finish that round we step back and i reach down and i freaking crank my red dot up a little bit because i'm like uh i don't want to look dumb right like i have a good group with some trails coming off so the next group i'm in like the nine ring and i just blow it out right uh, and I do, I feel like, I feel like I shot better today than I normally shoot, which part of that may be just how close I was. So anyways, we do a bunch of shooting. Uh, it was very interesting. There were people who didn't bring the right ammo, didn't bring the right gun, didn't bring the right holster. Um, one guy bought a gun four days ago, right? And so came to this class, like, which he said he'd been signed up for a while so i don't know if he was planning on renting a gun or just i don't know what happened there but four days is cutting it close um and showing up with bullets for reloading instead of rounds that fire doesn't do you any good right uh i ended up sharing a bunch of my ammo with two people because it was a i think a guy and his wife i think it was his wife anyways they showed up with the wrong stuff right they had bullets not rounds um and i gave them a, a, a bunch of mine right i was just like look you're new it sucks um i brought extra right like here you go and i said and i reload so we'll just trade and call it good right like and i said and just tomorrow make sure you bring enough ammo that like if i'm running low like we can share a little right and i still went and bought 200 rounds for myself but more than anything i just want to make sure we're both covered right um because I, I can't share that much ammo again like i don't know what a box of bullets costs but they probably went through like 200 rounds or more of my ammo that um probably cost more than 500 rounds of just you know bullets um so anyways where i was going with that is like think ahead plan ahead do some critical thinking right a lot of the courses about that um near the end we did do a shooting competition and uh did pretty good i don't know if i would say it was a three-way tie for third a three-way tie for first um the so they're doing kind of uh 
well, it's single elimination shooting competition, right? And you're just upping the distance more and more. And um, we get to, and I don't have a rangefinder, right? There's no, there's not even markers this far back. We're just walking back further and further. Like we're in the row of vehicles we've been parked, like all the vehicles were parked in rows way far away from where we were shooting. And we're shooting up that row of vehicles. You know, everyone was safe. Like, yes, there was vehicles in front of us, but they were all off to the side. But I mean, we're back a long ways. And it was me, the guy that was really good at grappling that helped me a lot this morning. And then another guy who, um, yeah, you know, he was like, oh, you know, I'm, yeah, I know. Okay. Right. Like he really didn't say he knew a whole lot about guns, but you know, and there is some luck involved in that, right? Like you could suck at shooting and just get lucky and manage to hit the target. Right. Like it's not super likely, but it, it could happen. But I just, I think he just underestimated himself. But anyways, it was uh, the three of us and then the instructor, he hit it and then me and another guy stepped up. I missed to the right, a little off target. I don't know where the other guy missed because I was just kind of pit. I, I wasn't mad, but I was like, dude, I had that, I swore I had that. So anyways, I holster mine, I step back, he misses, and then the other guy stepped up and missed. So the instructor beat us, but he doesn't count, screw him, right? So anyways, like I said, I did perform good in the pistol side of things. Um, I did do some adjustments on the red dot on the fly, tried to help out some people. Um, and that's really what I want to say with this. I know I'm long winded on this video and there's a lot to talk about and I didn't get really even in depth much, but you know, the guy that knew jujitsu helped me because I didn't know anything and I was struggling. You know, he helped me a ton and I helped some of the people with, um, you know, what I could like, and I don't want to step on the instructor's toes. He was the same way. He's like, look, let me show you something they didn't show us. Cause you know, drink through a fire hose, but he showed me a couple things and I'm like, dude, that changed like the whole feel of that. And he's like, yeah, I, you know, like you said, do it the way they want you to. If they're standing here staring at us, if you want to do it this way, you can, but I just want to show you that. So, um, it's an amazing course already. Uh, I am beat up. I'm sore. But the three main things I want to say here, right? Plan ahead. Make sure you bring the right stuff. Do some research. Um, just think about it, right? If you need help, call people. Call. They have a phone number to call if you need help with stuff or you have questions with stuff when you sign up, right? Use those. Use YouTube. Everything I knew about jujitsu, I learned on YouTube in the last seven days which wasn't enough and wasn't shit. But there was a couple times where like, you know, the guy was like, what would you do here? And I'm like, shrimping. And he's like, how did you know about that? I'm like, cause I watched YouTube. Like we haven't covered that yet, but I watched YouTube. I know what that is. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it right, but I know how to try. Cause I watched a dumb video, right? Um, and then the other thing is like, if you, I'm trying to think how to put this nicely. If you're not interested in the jujitsu side at all, um, and you've never, ever, ever handled a gun, go get some private gun lessons. Like, even if it's just somebody local, because the one person walked up with the gun hanging off their finger by the trigger guard and walked up, and I was like, nope. Set that on my tailgate. It was like... Just leave that there. Let's talk. Uh, helped for a sec. I turned around and that person picked that gun right back up by the tr trigger guard and walked away with that barrel swinging and no one else caught it. So, like, you're paying a bunch of money for these classes. Do your due diligence, right? Like, plan ahead. I had seven days to plan so far, like, the only thing I forgot was a water bottle and a notebook because I left them in the wrong vehicle, I think, right? Like, plan ahead. Like, you're paying a bunch of money to go to this class. Do some research on the class. Do some Googling, some YouTubing. Um, 
you know, like a couple people said, yeah, I signed up for this class. I've never done jujitsu. I went and found a gym and I've been two, three times, right? The, I think the one person had said they'd been four or five. But like put in some effort, like don't show up to this class thinking this class is like you need to be level one before you come here, right? And and level one is research. You don't need to know how to grapple, but you need to know like that you're gonna grapple, right? You need to know how to carry a pistol around and what a round is, right? Um, and I don't, I'm not picking on anybody. I hope those people don't like watch this and be like, oh, you dickhead, because that's not it, right? We were there to learn, but this is a very expensive class. They are pouring a lot of info down your throat. I mean, fire hose doesn't cover it, right? Do a little beforehand. Uh, that's just my biggest recommendation is plan ahead, research, and do a little beforehand, right? Like jujitsu, I didn't, I didn't go do jujitsu, but I watched every single video that Sheepdog Response had that had anything to do with ground control or grappling solely so that like when they showed up or when I showed up, I could at least understand some of what they said. Now they threw out terms, swimming, didn't know what that meant, like had to ask right but I knew some stuff I knew what guard was I knew what control was I knew what side control was I knew like hey like you don't want to turn your back so anyways this is super long-winded it's actually going to time out right now so I'm going to shut this off and uh yeah I'm going to go eat sleep shower all of those things and go do it all over again tomorrow so have a good one guys Just wiped down my gun and was kind of reloading mags. Um, I keep, you know, this gun with me as my concealed carry and also just in my truck. So wanted to make sure that was good. I am going to shoot a couple uh, target rounds real quick from the truck. Make sure everything's back together and functioning properly before I leave. Uh, but anyway, so today was <laughs> it was it was it was a lot more. Uh, it was it was worth it right like today's class was worth as much as the first and second day combined in my opinion um the gym side of things we pulled out weapons right like fake knives fake pistols and you learned how to take that away from someone and you learn just how hard it is to pull it off right like i can't count the amount of times that i thought i had that knife controlled and my hand slipped just a little or they did something just a little bit right and that blade went right through my hands and I was like, that hand would be worthless, right? Can't offer right a firearm, maybe not, you know, I mean, depending on how deep it gets, right? It could go into, cut your fingers off, cut all the tendons, you, you know, I mean, just, it's it was eye-opening. Because, um, you know, as, as a guy, I think most guys are this way, you just think like, I'm a man, I can I can handle this, I can do this. Somebody comes at me with a knife, no problem, I got this shit, right? Yeah, no, I mean, it was it was a workout, hard. Um, and it was surprising how many times, and it was surprising for everybody, right? Like, the one guy, uh, you're, some guys were doing, each person had a knife, some people were doing just one person had a knife, but like the one guy, he had the knife uh, that I was sparring with, right? And he didn't go for that right off the get-go, he went for like, grappling and as he went to grapple me he went under on this side and you know I kind of got this hand under him well I reached back grabbed his knife and just started you know stabbing him in the back like just at now I knew the knife was there right but just the simple fact of like how easily the weapon you think you have can be used against you because I actually that was the first guy I sparred so I started doing that on each person I sparred. If they didn't go for the knife right off the get-go, I'd go after their knife. And every person was like, oh. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that was a good trick, but it works pretty good. So anyways, um, so yeah, the class, I will say like this morning, everyone was sore. We were pretty gassed. Because um, most, I mean, almost all of us were super new at the grappling side of this, right? Um, I do feel like he, 
backed off a little, like backed off the accelerator, kind of let us cruise a little, which was nice. But at the same time, I kind of wish we could all, and I, I was doing it too, right? I was gassed. Kind of wish we all could have kept up a little. Um, just again, I'm just hitting on that, like prepare a little bit beforehand. Um, then we came to the range and shit stepped up. Uh, yesterday was very fundamentals, very basics. You know, I got a couple little tips, but today, um, stuff amped up they really there's a lot of guys here that have never shot a gun you know hardly at all before there was some people that you know bought a gun four days ago haven't shot guns before um and i think they really saw a huge improvement and i mean there was just simple stupid little things that like i you know how did i not notice that or how did i not think about that so i am right hand dominant and I've just kind of always stepped forward with my right foot. I don't know why. I just, when I get in my shooting stance, I normally do. And the guy walked over and was like, you know, like, it's not any different really to shoot this way, right? I mean, you're, same thing, you've got your triangle, right? He goes, but I was shooting with my concealed carry holster, appendix carry. He goes, right here, if you go to draw in a self-defense situation and guy gets to you or you're trying to hurry a little faster because you're amped up, your your thigh, let me step back, your thigh is forward, right? On the side that the gun is. So as you're drawing, if something goes wrong, that leg's forward. He goes, swap, that leg's back, right? The, the side of the gun is back. As you draw, if something goes wrong, right? You, yeah, you may still hit yourself. You may blow stuff off that you really want, but you know that leg is back. You're keeping yourself further out of danger um, of the path of that bullet. And I, like I said, never. I mean, it's that simple, right? Totally makes sense. Just never thought about it. Some reason, and I, I don't know if it's just like that's what I want to do for like you know doing this. I, yeah, I just, I always when I get ready to shoot, I step back with the left and. Yeah, something that simple. I was like, I've been shooting for a while, right? Never even thought about that. And who knows? Maybe I don't always do that. Maybe sometimes I switch. But I've never consciously made an effort on which foot I step back with, right? I feel like it's almost always my left goes back. And yeah, he walked over and said, you know, self-defense situation. Guys rushing you. You go to pull that catch on clothing. Pull the trigger. That leg's forward. It's you're you're going in that happens here you may luck out and it goes right in between your legs maybe right and it's all it's all a game of maybes and seconds and chances and you know who gets who first but something as simple as that was just wow never never thought about that right i'm now and the whole rest of the class i practice step back with my right every time because i want to make that a habit so if something happens that's where i'm going to um which is what this class is for right even if you know stuff, right? It's that little thing that helps. Like, I feel like I'm good with the gun, right? Fairly decent. Uh, took second in today's shooting competition. And yeah, something as simple as, hey, in self-defense situation, step the other leg back, right? And, and practice that so you're used to that so that you don't shoot yourself. Um, it was a super good class. I'm super glad I took it. I'm. I'm stoked that they had the sale and I got to come for um, less, right? And they did tell me, hey, look, everyone's getting a certificate. You won't get one. You signed up late, right? They'd already mailed us the certificates. Just call or text or email, whatever, and we will get you one, right? So, like, you know, I, I mentioned in the last one, I've kind of mentioned a little bit in this one, but prep as much as you can. And if you absolutely want to go to one of these and you can spend the money, sign up early and prep everything you can. If you can't, still try and prep yourself and then watch for sales. Like, I saved a fair amount of money. Um, you know, I, I lent out ammo to two people and I don't feel bad because I saved quite a bit of money on this course, right? And they brought me some stuff back. Like, you know, they, they gave me some stuff now prices probably didn't offset each other but i paid less for the course right like i already got a good deal i'm going to help out anyone i can 
Um, end of the course, I, I hit up a bunch of people. I was like, if you want help, call me. I'll help you as much as I can. Like, I'm not these guys, but on the gun side of things, if you have questions, like, call me. I'll, I'll do my best to help. Um, I will say, so on the range, it rained, and it rained pretty damn hard, and it blew in before it rained, so there was dust everywhere, and then it dumped rain, and I loved it. I was stoked about it. It was... You know, at home, if it's raining, I don't shoot that often, right? Now, if I'm out shooting and it rains, I might finish up. But I never force myself to just go through it, right? Just stick with it. Go through it. Um, it was kind of nice to be like, no, I, I paid my money. Whether it rains the full four hours, five hours, or, you know, not a drop. Like, I'm here for this. And, yeah, I, I'm glad that the weather turned the way it did. I'm glad it didn't stay bad all day. But it was just, it was kind of one of those, like, just little stuff, right? I can load mags all day. My hands got wet. They were kind of cold. I loaded all mine okay. And then I was helping some other people load theirs because they were struggling. And I, after a while, I loaded so many and my hands were so wet because I hadn't dried them off. I hadn't had them in my pockets. I started slipping and I took a, you know, side of a magazine down the finger and was like, I need to practice more in adverse conditions. Um obviously right and it I mean same thing right I knew that but coming out here and doing it and just seeing the things um I was kind of cold and I have a titanium rod in my leg the storm rolled in leg started hurting and I like it was hurting enough like it was breaking my concentration from time to time I winged a shot bad and it was I I'd step back with my right which is like I said what I'm trying to do now and I stepped back and I shot and I pivoted and that knee twanged, my, my leg hurt. And I just was like, swing that shot. I mean, it was off by, it wasn't off a ton, but it was off enough that like, you know, okay, now I know, like I, I need to practice more in adverse conditions when I don't feel 100%, right? Um, Cause that's, you're not always gonna be 100% when shit goes down, so. Anyways, um, super great course, super great coaches. They told everybody, you know, if you have questions, hit me up. If you're in the area, you know, hit me up. Um, the guy who runs the gym, I, I was like, look, I'm not from here, but I'm out here quite often. Could I come in for like a day? Once, a, You know, come in for a couple hours once in a while if I'm out here. And he was like, absolutely, right? Like, let's do this. So, um, yeah, I'm super stoked with it. You know, there was um, a lot of camaraderie, right, which is what you want, but there was almost a little too much. Guys kept kind of talking while they were trying to help other people, and when you have hearing protection that, you know, is sucking in any noise outside gunshots pretty much, like, that gets in the way. You know, there was, I mean, there was some light ass chewings, which there probably should have been more, um, but just be respectful of your time and theirs and I don't just mean out here on the range right prep yourself learn what you can be respectful of what you're putting into this your time your expectations um, if you have no interest in jujitsu maybe don't show up to this class right if guns completely scare the crap out of you go hit up a coach in your area a, a buddy an uncle a co-worker and just get you know get that little bit of extra help before you show up to this so anyways i just realized this entire time i've had my glasses on and they were they were tinted so sorry for that i guess i can take them off but anyways uh we're gonna finish it up um it's starting to get windier and i'm gonna go dump a couple rounds make sure i got this done cleaned put back together cleared everything good and uh then i'm gonna get out of here so have a good one guys go to a sheepdog response class um this is protector one class and you know if they don't come to your area and the price tag is out of your range but because of travel and the class right keep your eye open for more classes but find something local that's reputable um utah has fieldcraft survival they're right here local i will be doing classes from them too they have one in north carolina um there's there's classes all over the place right and don't just focus on guns or combatives first aid right like first aid is extremely important if you don't even know 
how to do CPR, right? That is probably one of the most common things that you're gonna run into. Um, just out walking around, right? Do you need to know how to dress a gunshot wound? Sure, right? It, it's helpful. Could you be walking down the street and someone chokes, right? And tips over and, you know, you don't know how to do the Heimlich or somebody freaking, you know, you walk up and someone's unconscious and you give CPR, it turns out it saves their life, right? First aid's important. Just start training. Um, yeah, I, you know, I don't know what else to say on that, right? I have a really nice gun. I have a nice gun belt. I have nice first aid equipment. Um, I have some first aid training just through my work and trying to, you know, help myself. But I have slacked in the training as far as professional training. I shoot my gun a lot. But like I said, one simple, hey, step your other foot back. That could have made a world of difference in an actual gunfight or someone attacks me or even just something as simple as out practicing, right? Out practicing and I don't clear my garment and I'm trying to go fast and I snag my shirt, right? And that round goes into my leg, whatever. Something as simple as, hey, I'm gonna practice from here on out with my right leg back. That could change everything for me right now. So I'm gonna shut this off. I'm gonna shoot this, load up, get out of here. Um, I gotta pick my wife and kids up. We gotta get home. And I got work in the morning. So anyways, have a good one, guys. Uh, check out Sheepdog Response or any local reputable, tr reputable training. Also, Sheepdog Response, other places like that have um, free stuff on YouTube, stuff on their website, and they also have virtual classes that you can pay and take at your, you know, at your house or, you know, on a weekend, right? So uh, get some buddies together and go all in on it together and train with each other um yeah anyways i will talk to you guys later have a good one and see ya